One of the more pretentious political self-descriptions is libertarian. People think it puts them above the fray. It sounds fashionable, and to the uninitiated, faintly dangerous. Actually, it's just one more bullshit political philosophy. George Cullen, Napalm and Silly Putty, the official libertarian logo. Libertarianism better known as the Atheist Republican Party or Anarchy for Rich Spoiled Brats is a fad political ideology for moody teenagers who don't believe in God. First year college students, stoners, conservatives who were kicked out of the Republican Party for being gay, white business owners who use the private property argument so they don't have to pay welfare and serve niggas, lonely men who worship Ayn Rand as their waifu, and generally anyone who wants to combine the benefits of no taxes no gun control with the benefits of abortion so that everyone can just shoot unwanted or genetically disabled babies. Libertarians, more commonly known as libertards or libertarians believe that governmental intrusion into people's lives should be limited as much as possible, except when someone breaks into their house, they need a contract enforced, or want a health inspector to check out the local restaurants. Government is just fine in those cases. They also believe roads and civic infrastructure are naturally occurring phenomena. Libertarianism has a big crossover with extropians, who think that you can realize science fiction ideas like space elevators and self-genetic engineering in the near future. Most libertarians are either 13 year old boys, frat boys who watch South Park, people that want to appear alternative, or paranoid survivalists living in tiny cabins in Montana where they stockpile weapons and food for the dreaded day when Big Brother comes round trying to implant fail chips in their brains. Libertarians claim to be a radical philosophers but are really as bourgeoisie as they can get. Ultimately, all libertarians are really interested in is defending their petty, white, middle class interests. Libertarians believe that humanity falls into two categories. Libertarians. Sheep. Libertarianism should not be confused with conservatism, which is exactly what conservatives do. In the same way liberals now call themselves progressives, conservatives think libertarian sounds more hip. The promise of libertarianism is that it will free you from an oppressive government so you can live in liberty. The same way that communism freed people from an oppressive government so they could live in communes. They're too embarrassed to admit it. The theory. You have 100 citizens. Each one contributes zero dollars in tax. Since 100 citizens divided by zero taxes equals infinity, this means that zero taxation raises infinite income. In practice. For some reason, the world was singularly lacking in governments visionary enough to adopt this economic model until 2012, when far-right Republicans took over Kansas and decided to run the experiment for real. They even brought in Frederick Laffer, the designer of the Laffer Curve, to bless their bold endeavor. They slashed taxation to minimal levels and were amazed to find the state's revenue fall by 700 ts in one financial year. By 2014, Kansas was teetering on the brink of bankruptcy and reliant on rebates from Obamacare for income. Any questions? The creation of a libertarian. Most libertarians begin life as a spoiled upper middle class and very white teen who fails to comprehend that not everyone else in the world is a spoiled upper middle class white teen. At first, the young libertarian to be has only a vague dissatisfaction. He begins to ask himself questions like, what political philosopher can I both bastardize and miss the point of, so that I can justify being an even more selfish prick than I am now? How can I reconcile that I hate those who I deem aren't productive, with the fact that I don't need a job because daddy gives me a generous allowance? Why do we even need government? Surely almost 7 billion people can all police themselves, right? The answer comes to them in two little words. Ayn Rand, never since Barbara Streisand have the words of a half-whited Russian Jewess spread so far, and contaminated so many, with 6th grade level vocabulary, and 4th grade level philosophy, Rand's book have all the emotional depth of a 2 year old's temper tantrum. Mine but like Streisand is to fags, Rand is their holy prophet. She speaks the words so perfectly, the words they want to hear. You don't lack compassion. You just want people to get by on their own merits, she says. You're not a selfish asshole. You just have a sense of rational self-interest, she affirms. You have no obligation to the society in which you live. Governments are only there to lift up those not as good as you, she declares. And lo, it was good. Because if there is one thing that makes financially comfortable white people feel good about themselves, it is that they earned the benefits of being financially comfortable. Clearly by their own merits. It wasn't daddy's money that bought you your head start in life. It wasn't the better schools, the better nutrition, the better neighborhoods. 
it wasn't the country you were born in, or the system of laws that protected and to this day protects you. It wasn't the various government agencies making sure you have licensed doctors, clean drinking water, or safety standards for vehicles. No, my young privileged white boy, you did it all. You, and only you, are responsible for all your success. And anyone who isn't as well off just didn't work as hard. And the government can only take from a productive member of society like you to give to the leeches. And there should be no laws. And even though there are laws, they don't really apply to you, because you're special. Be as selfish as you want. It's all you. And thus, a libertarian is born. What libertarians think freedom means. Libertarians like everyone self-governance, so they propose child brothels. Also they think it is acceptable to whore out their own children's childhoods. All who disagree with this point of view is morally inferior to libertarians, according to themselves, because they are the only ones who propose freedom, in contrast to others who advocate force. Trolling a libertarian. To troll a libertarian online, just post the following. This morning I was awoken by my alarm clock powered by electricity generated by the public power monopoly regulated by the US Department of Energy. I then took a shower in the clean water provided by the municipal water utility. Then, I brushed my teeth with that water, filtered to standards set by the EPA and my state. After that, I turned on the TV to one of the FCC regulated channels to see what the National Weather Service of the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration determined the weather was going to be. Like using satellites designed, built, and launched by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I watched this while eating my breakfast of US Department of Agriculture inspected food and taking the drugs which have been determined as safe by the Food and Drug Administration. At the appropriate time as regulated by the US Congress and kept accurate by the National Institute of Standards and Technology and the US Naval Observatory. I get into my National Highway Traffic Safety Administration approved automobile and set out to work on the roads built by the local, state, and federal departments of transportation. Possibly stopping to purchase additional fuel of a quality level determined by the Environmental Protection Agency, using legal tender issued by the Federal Reserve Bank and printed by the Federal Bureau of Engraving and Printing. On the way out the door I deposit any mail I have to be sent out via the US Postal Service and drop the kids off at the public school. I park my car on the street, paid and maintained by the Department of Transportation, and put quarters issued by the United States Mint into the parking meter. Then, after spending another day not being maimed or killed at work thanks to the workplace regulations imposed by the Department of Labor and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, I drive back to my house which is not burned down in my absence because of the state and local building codes and the fire marshal's inspection, and which is not being plundered of all its valuables thanks to the local police department. I then log on to the internet which was developed by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Administration and post on Free Republic and Fox News forums about how socialism in medicine is bad because the government can't do anything right. Keep government out of my Medicare. Voting for the libertarian candidate in the 2008 presidential election. It wasn't until I had dropped the absentee ballot envelope in the mailbox that I realized the mistake I had made. Why would there be a boob bar on the ballot? And why would I want a boob bar to be the president? Or sfag. List of things libertarians hate. Calendars. Clocks. Standard weights and measures. Sick days. Maternity paternity leave what do you mean? America is the only developed country in the world not to have paid maternity leave? They're all commies. Overtime pay. Minimum wage. Electricity. Clean water. Clean air. State and national parks. Playgrounds. Fish and game wildlife services we should be able to kill all the cute critters in the forest if we want to. Especially the endangered ones. Roads and infrastructure. Postal service. Safe workplaces. OSHA. Health inspectors, all federal workers see postal service, welfare, unemployment benefits, public schools, seat belts and airbags, cops protection rackets and the mafia are far more libertarian, fire stations especially volunteer firefighters, taxes even if they don't pay and because they have no job and live in their parents basement, unions, public transport, food free of salmonella, nutrition facts, vaccines, safe medicine, poor people, black people, women's, socialism, charities, any altruistic behavior, unemployment benefits, gaining more than 3% of the vote, you, history, list of things libertarians believe in, all authority figures are good unless they are called the government, drugs are good, social security is bad, federal government is bad, 
State government is good. Pedophilia is good. Puppy mills are important facets of the American economy. Guns are totally good, unless used by the government and its contractors. Homosexuality is good but gay marriage is not good because it'll be legalized by the evil, nasty government. The death penalty is bad but only if it's carried out by the government. The free market is the ultimate good. People who say they are conservative but are really republicans are theocratic liars. People who say they are liberal but are really democrats are socialist liars. Privatization is good. Unions are bad. Smoking is good. Tobacco companies are friends. Speculation is good. Question everything. That Newton guy couldn't have gotten everything right. Ayn Rand is God though she hated libertarians. But hey, who doesn't? Believe that Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a bloodthirsty tyrant but Calvin Coolidge was God. Somalia is the best country on earth. The mailman is a government employee and must be gunned down with an AK-47 for setting foot on your property. Ron Paul is God. Bob Barr is a fake libertarian fuckwit. Wearing seatbelts is an affront to personal liberty. Paying taxes is a sin. Unless those taxes go into making video games like America's Army. Agnosticism is good because religions and atheism are too altruistic and therefore hamper capitalism. The Democrats and Republicans don't have our best interest at heart, but conglomerates do. The only honorable way to die is in a shootout with the cops. Paying taxes to the government is bad. Paying money to utility companies is sexy. No taxpayer. Govt. Kmpni vs taxpayer. Kmpni. Traffic lights are bad because they're social engineering. Health inspectors are bad because they allow people who are too stupid and lazy to investigate every restaurant and store they go to to survive. Worship capitalism as the only freedom loving philosophy but refuse to pay for stuff because open source is the only way. No business would ever desire increased government power unless they already had it. Halliburton who? Police do not have the right to stop a parent from killing their kid, but the cops need to be involved when a baby boy is getting circumcised. Outlawing spammy mail is a grave threat to liberty. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights are infallible, but amendments are bad especially the 16th, but also other ones that give voting power to citizens. Democracy is evil because America is only a republic. That's why we don't vote for state representatives, and instead have a state representative assigned to each state with no input from its residents. Because that'd be a democratic republic, and that's bad. The best way to respect individuality is to let those who are useless to society starve to death. If you cast a shadow on someone else's lawn, you're trespassing. If a plane flies over your house, they're trespassing. Seriously, look it up. It's okay to eat babies so long as they're your own kids. Taxation is theft. Charging rent is not. The genius of the free market is that both the rich and poor get the choice of paying for expensive health care or dying. You must remain perfectly silent anytime someone else is nearby because forcing someone else's eardrums to vibrate violates the non-aggression principle. Price gouging and monopolies are awesome. Don't like it? Then move to Russia, you commie. Even though Russia has the highest population of millionaires. Government sucks. Except when they're using their resources to protect my personal property, which they have no right to be TW. The Federal Reserve cannot be trusted to run a currency but some libertarian pothead called Bernard von Nothaus, the high priest of free marijuana church of Honolulu can. Seriously, laws against statutory rape aren't necessary, there's nothing creepy at all about some dirty old man fucking a 13 year old. New Hampshire will become heaven on earth if enough libertarians move there. Corporatism is evil, but so is government intervention. It is mandatory that all libertarians jack off to pictures of Jew and or Jew on a regular basis in order to remain healthy. Herbert Hoover was a socialist. Economic liberalism is great because anyone can become rich if they work hard. What are monopolies and monopsonies? Critiques of libertarianism are inherently invalid but conspiracy theories are legit. The industrial revolution created utopias. Third world countries should be allowed to have child labor because it accelerates societal development. Socialism came out of nowhere one day. Property, and the right thereto, are first order realities and not social constructs at all. Charity and selflessness are universally hailed as virtues. Therefore, altruism is for sheeple. End the Fed. It doesn't matter that the idea of a centralized bank was founded by the founding fathers and supported by the precursor to the Republican Party known as the Federalists. Or that most first world countries have a centralized bank. End social security. People who are unemployed are just lazy. What? You can't work because you were hurt on the job? Lol sucks to be you. Borders are stupid. Companies should be able to hire illegal immigrants so they don't have to pay minimum wage. 
Believe business rights trump people's rights. There are only two political philosophies pro-freedom libertarianism and pro-slavery non-libertarianism. Make fun of liberals for worshipping Obama and the mantra of hope and change, all the while worshipping Ron Paul and shouting Ron Paul revolution. Believe all the founding fathers agreed on everything and were of one political philosophy libertarianism, of course. No one is owed anything for being born, not even necessities like food or shelter, but guns are an important God-given right. Libertarianism and Autism Libertarianism is expected to be included in the next edition of the DSM as a form of autism, as part of a further partitioning of Asperger's syndrome due to an overwhelming rise in its e-diagnosis. Libertarians share many qualities with the Aspies, but differ in the fact that they see themselves as incarnations of Ayn Rand and the characters in her novels, rather than as dragons or elves. Typical libertarian activities. Bitching about how fucked up the government is, but doing nothing about it. See also hippies. Complaining about how evil the government is but praising big business and preaching that if we just get the mean Olay government to leave businesses alone and give our bosses complete freedom that capitalism will create a utopia. Complaining about Gao government is tyranny, while praising corporations with an absolute top-down hierarchy that make their pewns piss into a jar. Majoring in computer science. Acting like Jake Pearson from TSR, using the word statist as an insult at every possible opportunity, calling atheists who do not have the same political views as they do statists, they claim that these atheists worship the state to make up for a lack of religion, quoting George Orwell 24-7 and hating socialists apparently without irony, not knowing that George Orwell was a massive socialist, posting on internet forums, thinking Leo TZU was a libertarian. Despite the fact that Tao Te Ching was a guide for emperors on how to rule effectively, thereby being the Machiavelli of the East. Thinking everyone they like is a libertarian. Sitting in a dark room with only a shotgun for company, waiting for a nigger to break into their home. Bitching about how much money gets taken out of their paychecks for stupid shit like roads, schools, and feeding hungry children. Bitching about how voting is anti-freedom. Complaining that the new smoking bans and seatbelt laws takes away their freedom. Copy pasting the rants of the craziest televangelists and replacing Satan with the government. Jerking off to the fountainhead, Anthem, Atlas Shrugged, and anything else written by Jewish whores with an unwarranted sense of self-importance. Thinking of ways to get back at the jocks who picked on them in grade school. Acting exactly like the kid from the catcher and the rye. Having sex with their dogs. Being the ranking doucher bags of the planet. Hanging around this pageant of this one. Crying about how minimum wages and anti-child labor laws are morally wrong and a great threat to freedom. Preach personal responsibility but blame others for their shortcomings when things go wrong. Note this characteristic may also apply to conservatives and liberals as much as it does libertarians. Post Ron Paul endorsements in every YouTube video they come across. Having sex with children. Privately masturbate to the murder of a government employee while publicly denouncing the murder as an initiation of force. Brag about how they're a real American because they own property for example a pickup truck and an acre of land in Oklahoma with a manufactured home on it. But get butthurt and backpedal when you point out to them that both of them are actually owned by the bank they pay money to every month. Petition Fleshlight to introduce an Ayn Rand model. Moving to Austria for the Austrian economics. Saying you sound more like a libertarian to anyone who doesn't have strict liberal or conservative views on every issue. Building and worshipping shrines to honor their fair and just corporate overlords. Posting their Ayn Rand NRA slash fanfic collection on K. Calling the government a monopoly while denying they exist, and confusing economics with politics. Not seeing the hypocrisy of calling the government a monopoly when in a privatized libertarian world, a single corporate overlord really would rule the country. Bitching that hate speech are just words and therefore shouldn't be made a crime because of free speech, yet making hate speech a bannable offense on their forums. Pirating software despite preaching that people work hard for their money. Joining Nambler. Posting too long didn't read rants on how capitalism is awesome in response to people talking bad about the rich. Bitching about how equality no longer makes being a white male special anymore. Comparing every and we do mean every police arrest to Nazis putting Jews in concentration camp. Calling the president a failure because he didn't get all his promises accomplished in the first 20 seconds of his inauguration. Meanwhile their party's been around since 1971 and has yet to accomplish anything. Libertarian mating habits. 
Libertarians attract mates by posting all kinds of lame shit about the Illuminati and Masonic conspiracies in conservative forums and blogs, as well as in the IMDb sub forums for any movies that have anything to do with politics, as well as positing why the producers of any Gulf War I and II movies hate America. Libertarians also spend a lot of time pissing and moaning about not being able to get dates, a fact which they attribute to women for being dim-witted, manipulative. Self-loathing harlots who dig our souls, because intelligent, emotionally sensitive women would certainly date them otherwise. It couldn't possibly be that women are generally repulsed by fat, neckbeded chauvinists who spend all their time on the internet arguing about Linux and stroking their own egos lol. Personal responsibility. Closely related to nice guys, except malcontented and oafish. Famous libertarians. David Koresh. Glenn Beck. Timothy McVeigh, Alex Jones before 2015, Ayn Rand, Stephen Colbert, Milton Friedman, Drew Carey, Jimbo Wales which makes no sense, because he founded Wikipedia, the biggest anarcho communist society ever to be inhabited entirely by virgins, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the creators of South Park, Margaret Thatcher, Penn Teller, Weave, Michael Crichton, Robert Anton Wilson, Tommy Chong, Clint Eastwood, Neil Peart, Tim Wilson, Terry Pratchett, Xavier Von Roek, Ron Paul, Ron Swanson, Vox Day, Doug Stanap, Libertarianism on the interwebs. Some say that libertarianism is growing in popularity due to President Barack Obama's fascist, socialist, Nazi, liberal, progressive policies. Luckily for you, this popularity has resulted in a plethora of websites and publications dedicated to the intellectual discussion of libertarianism. As expected, most libertarians found on the tubes are old and thus have never heard of trolling, let alone a meme. In addition to the typical libertarian hangouts, there is a live journal community dedicated to libertarianism. Reading it is a lot like fucking a beehive. The community mostly serves as a forum for discussing bestiality and necrophilia. How to piss off a libertarian? You can troll in the following ways. Ask them about the Civil Rights Act. They will go around your question and say it's a property rights issue, when in fact they are closet racist. Ask them how and why what the government does is bad. You'll just get because, tech government, with no real logical answer backed up with facts. Remind them that public roads is socialism, and using them makes you a socialist. The libertarian response would be the government is a monopoly, I don't have a choice remark will make them go ape shit. Also bring up that public schools are funded by the government. You see, every lotarian went to a public school but yet they call for abolishing public schools, which is where over 9000% of them all went. Remind them that Ron Paul can never become president because he is a 9 skill 11 truther. Most libertarians are young, uneducated college dropouts that work minimum wage jobs. Ask them about minimum wage, and if they are willing to get paid 1.00 per hour, the typical Lossitarian response would be <coughs> Troll Ron Paul forums, call for major foreign intervention and military bases everywhere. Call them conspiracy theorist. Libertas hate that. Tell them that Thomas Jefferson Libertarian's favorite person said good things about the Illuminati and supported Adam Weishaupt Zionist Jesuit Vatican and ask them why you hate Merca? Since they hate the government, ask them how they feel about pedo laws, libertarians obviously being for free choice free will. They will most likely go around your question and say I don't support sex with minors but not answer your question. If they say yes on keeping it illegal, they are commie bastards. If they say no, Tahir 50 year old closet pedist suggests the Patriot Act is constitutional. Agree with any form of taxation. If they try a motto like taxation without representation, ask them if they live in Washington, DC, Puerto Rico, or any US outlying territory. If they say no, then point out that there's a reason they're called state representatives. Make up elaborate lies about how government interference is directly correlated with general happiness and coke supply, forcing them to do actual work to prove you wrong. Espouse the virtues of eugenics and see how many freedom lovers actually agree with you. Create a thread titled Dating Tips. Pretend to be an athletic, attractive, emotionally sensitive libertarian with good job security. Post a sob story about not being able to get a girlfriend and watch it grow to over 9000 pages about the naivete of women and how libertarians are better lovers. Remind them the internet was invented by the government. Ask them to explain the electoral college in their own words. If they start talking about the voting process, point out that republics don't have a voting system. Be a minority specifically a woman, 
unless you are using a Facebook sock puppet account, in which case, make her very hot. Tell them Ron Paul is a racist and is supported by the KKK. Ask them to name a single libertarian community that worked in the real world. If they mention World War II Catalonia, add on in the long term and those were communes and refugee camps, you fucked it. Mention government or socialistic successes and private sector endeavors failures. Show them Riccio to demonstrate why privatizing prisons would be a bad idea. Praise the labor theory of value. Tell them that libertarianism is anarchy for rich people because it's true. Lol. Say FDR and Abraham Lincoln were the bestest presidents. Point out the fact libertarianism is just a type of conservatism. Ask them why they hate the 16th amendment when they claim to love the constitution. Spout conspiracy theories about how Ayn Rand was a Soviet double agent or how Thomas Jefferson was trolling when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. This should actually be pretty easy, as libertarians are known to take to conspiracies faster than MCR to a cock. Tell them that Ben Franklin used state money to fund a hospital. Tell them you're voting for Bob Barr. Link them to this. Treat libertarianism and objectivism as synonyms because they are. LOL. Point out that the Green Party supports pot legalization too. Use Bioshock as an example of why a libertarian society can never exist be careful. Some of them are stupid enough to think rapture was a utopia. Ask them what they think of monopolies and trust busting. Ask them how old they were when they became a libertarian. 99% of the time they will have been under 16. Then say they were too young to understand politics. Tell them that Somalia seems like a nice libertarian haven. Point out that the news and media are businesses and see how many defenders of liberty want the government to close those down they disagree with. Say anything positive about the police. Comment that Dennis Kucinich is the Ron Paul of the left. Tell them you are a left libertarian. Be sure to back this up by being liberal on any social issue. Point out that the only way to stop oppression without government interference is through community organizing. Run for president as a Republican. Don't shut the fuck up about how terrible federal bans are, and then vote for federal bans. Tell married libertarians that if they want the federal government out of their business, they should get a divorce and live in sin. Mention how much it upsets you that Glenn Beck raped and murdered a young girl in 1990. Explain to them how large companies always end up using or creating government in order to enforce a monopoly and that a free market can't exist if there's a coerced monopoly. Ask them how they, a redneck living in his mother's basement with no experience in law other than getting arrested for illegal firearms possession. Know more about the constitution than law school graduates and a constitutional scholar. Ask what they think about the WBC and the state laws preventing them from protesting funerals. This will trick them into not only saying that they support the evil government, which should always be wrong, but that they're against freedom of speech which is in the ZOM constitution. Inform them that the word libertarian was first used in a political sense by a communist. Hire a construction firm for a day. Dig up the road outside their house, pull down the street lights, and pour concrete into their sewer. Then ring their doorbell and give them a bucket and spade and a cheap flashlight with no batteries. Explain that you have stepped in to help them in their quest to relieve US taxpayers and the objects you are giving them are a leaving gift from the state. Ask them where in history libertarianism has ever worked. Remind them that true Marxism is the complete absence of government. Especially when they're saying liberals are dumb and uneducated for supporting it. Ask them to name one victory the well-regulated militia has had, while mentioning all the victories the government's army has accomplished. No, no, no step on snake, no page, no page, page, no step on sneak, peace. Oh god, I love a good step on sneak meme, I think they're fucking hilarious. Like, you know, for me personally, I really don't mind libertarians, I think most of them are pretty dead on, even if they are a wee bit delusional. You know, like, look, no one likes being taxed, I can get that, no one likes paying taxes, it's just not fun. It's not fun to work for something and then you have to give it away, and especially when you don't exactly always see what your money's going towards, or if it's money's going towards something that you really personally don't agree with, you know, like say, it's an unpopular war, or they're donating it to whatever, you know what I mean, like, you know, that's very understandable. But, uh, for me, like, you know, like, pfft taxation does improve the lives of everyone around you including yourself even if you don't always realize it but um like you know no one likes it whenever corrupt politicians you know just pocket it so you know eh fuck it 
Anyway, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love a good dramatic encyclopedia, dramatic article. I think they're fucking hilarious. They're so well written, like, you know, and, like, you know, they're just so good all the times, you know. I just, I fucking love this. Um, anyway, so I've already done the communists, um, so, and, like, you know, libertarians now, so I might do, like, you know, anarchists or something like that, or maybe do Nazis or whatever, you know, whatever, just have a bit of fun. So we'll just see what happens. It's always good fun to poke at, like, you know, extreme, I don't know, I, like, you know, very extreme ideologies, because, like, you know, when you, you take anything to extreme, it tends to not really be that good, you know? Although I can imagine the comment section would be like, fucking Sant Gaspasa cunt. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if you want to know what I'm like, then go ahead. Um, I've got my um, political compass video. It's still up on my channel. You can find it. It's not too difficult. So uh, check that out. Like, you know, and then you can laugh at me for call, like, you know, for whatever. But anyway, anyway, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to click that notification bell to stay up to speed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. This... this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This... this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's weighing down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?